While many people look towards nursing home facilities to care for their loved ones, others turn to family caregivers. The industry has grown by 9.5 million people over the past five years, but it has not been very lucrative even before the COVID-19 pandemic. KXAN's Sally Hernandez gives us an in-depth look at why. According to the study, caregiving in the U.S. 2020, the growing financial pressure of taking care of a loved one is on the rise, and it's not getting any better. The pressures that they're facing are only going to be amplified by what we're dealing with with this health crisis. The study by the National Alliance for Caregiving and the AARP found caregivers are not getting the help they need. We need to see that support because the need is growing as America gets older. 28% of caregivers have stopped saving money, 23% have taken on more debt, and 22% have dipped into their savings. What makes me, you know, scared a little bit for caregivers is we know people are caring longer, we know they're caring for people with more conditions, so we need to see that jump in support. The National Alliance for Caregiving is urging lawmakers to include more support for caregivers in another stimulus package if they need to leave their job during this pandemic to take care of an aging family member. You know, the Families First Coronavirus Act, it didn't include people who were caring for someone that may not have dependent care coverage if that reason wasn't COVID-19. So if I'm caring for dad with dementia at home, I may not have job protection or paid family medical leave. And that's a huge issue to be facing in the middle of this pandemic. Sally Epnondis, KXAN News. The study also found that while caregivers span all generations, more young people are providing care, and that includes 6% who are Gen Z and 23% who are millennials.